the Himalayas are a source of uh, life for over a billion people in South Asia, and everybody knows that. Its snow capped mountains, glaciers, forests provide key service fresh water. Water is the elixir of life and is essential for driving growth through agriculture and hydropower. Its diverse biodiversity supports livelihoods for those in and around the Himalayas. Its lofty mountains and natural freshwater systems have over time crafted unique and diverse cultures. Uns unsustainable exploitation of resources coupled with impacts of climate change are threatening this unique tapestry of life in the Himalayas. The need for us, therefore the need for us in the region is to secure the Himalayan ecosystem. Even as the global, even as the global community endeavors to find solutions to global warming and climate change. The natural freshwater infrastructure of eastern Himalayas, including its forests, wetlands and rivers have to be maintained along the building capacity. Uh, among our people in order to cope with the impeding changes included, uh, induced by climate change. Therefore, a secure eastern Himalaya with all its forest and fresh water system is essential for maintaining life, livelihoods and biodiversity in the region. Therefore, the theme of the climate summit that the uh, government of Bhutan has initiated is secret Himalayas for water, livelihoods and biocultural heritage. Original action for a living Himalayas. It's already established that climate change is happening in the Himalayas. It's happening the world over. Uh, that's why we are here at the COP16 also, discussing climate change. Rapid melting of glaciers, erratic and unpredictable weather, changing rainfall patterns, and increasing temperature, temperature impinge on the ability of mountain populations to sustain, sustain their livelihoods. The consequence of such changes on food, water, and energy security increasingly feature as most important concerns for government across the Himalayan region. Further, the impacts of biodiversity and species persistence also, also are also of concern. The need, therefore, for vulnerable nations is to increasingly build resilience to impacts of climate change and generate resources for adaptation, capacity building, and technology transfer. While efforts to reach a consensus at a global level are ongoing. It brings attention to the need to re-evaluate the relevance and effectiveness of action at national and local levels. Such actions can no longer wait for global agreement. In the Himalayas, where the impact of climate, uh, global climate change are manifesting at a rapid pace, the time for action is running out. We cannot be complacent. Therefore, the Royal Government of Bhutan has embarked upon an initiative for regional action, that is the Climate Summit for a Living Himalayas, Bhutan 2011, wherein we propose to bring together leaders from government, civil societies, and academia towards a regional action for Eastern Himal Himalayan southern watershed countries. The regional, the regional action summit for a living Himalayas seeks to endeavors to be, uh, garner political commitment at highest level for cooperation within the sub-region highlighted for a summit declaration for four thematic areas. One, securing biodiversity and ensuring its sustainable use. Two, ensuring food security and securing livelihoods. Three, securing the fresh, natural freshwater system of the Himalayas. And four, ensuring energy <coughs> security and enhancing alternate technologies. The key partners for this uh, particular summit are four countries of the Eastern Himalayas, Southern Watershed, namely Bangladesh, Bhutan, India and Nepal, as uh, represented in the summit logo. Uh, this uh, particular initiative is led by the Royal Government of Bhutan and we are partnered by MacArthur Foundation, EC Mode, WWF, IFAD. Uh, what we expect out of uh, this regional action? The key outcomes for the summit as drafted for the first ministerial meeting held in August in Kathmandu uh, this year. Uh, we are seeking to, at adopting and endorsing a 10-year roadmap for adaptation to clim climate change in the eastern Himalayas, securing all of eastern Himalayan, uh, Himalayas temperate and alpine forests and grasslands, pledges from partner countries and institu institutions to fund the implementation of such a roadmap, creating and operationalizing regional adaptation expert groups which will advise governments on emerging concerns and risks. 